Okay guys, so welcome back to another one of my um, videos. Um, first off, uh, make sure you have uh, subscribed to the uh, channel. If you haven't, guys, just hit the subscribe button. It won't take a second, and then you get notifications of all my upcoming videos. So there's a lot of gold recovery videos coming there at the moment. Um, in fact, I don't know how it up yet now or not up, but I've been working on uh, pins from CPU, that's a few there, but I have a pile more to add to this before I do the aqua region on them. So you can see how I got from the the CU, CU, CPU pins to them foils. Um, but this one is on um, these foils that I took from, so you probably have already seen the video, if not, that video is on the way soon as well, um, of um, how I took about 20 grams, I think it was, of these, and I put them into um, aqua region which was the hydrochloric and um, nitric to dissolve the foils. But I'm also going to show you now another method of doing this. So some people can't get nitric. So another method of doing this will be, um, so we'll just turn on the scales there for a second, will be to um, use bleach to do the same thing. So, um, and it'll be a different process through then how to deal with it and stuff like that. But for this video, we'll put about 20 grams in again, or maybe 30 grams just for the sake of it. Um, so we have, so that's where it's 314 it's in. Let me double check that, because these scales have been playing up lately. 314, okay, so we're going to zero that. And we're going to add some pins to it. And in a second, I'll just get a little spoon of some sort to spoon them out. Or actually, I'll use just one of these um, little Q-tips so they can help me knock these foils in. very light as you can see these foils oh don't want to go too fast I'm losing some of them but we'll gather them up afterwards as it's as you know these foils are very very light we're nearly up to 20 grams There we are, 20 grams. So we have 20 grams of foils in there. I don't want to waste any of them, so we'll take the scales and clean it off into the, back down into the jar where they came out of. And we'll brush these ones up as well. I'll get a little brush afterwards and we'll brush up any I've left there. So. There's our 20 grams of foils. So I'm hoping it's 20 grams. Looks more than 20 grams to me, but anyhow, them scales can be playing up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna cover them with hydrochloric acid, and I'm going to add a little bit of bleach uh, to it. So for that process, we're going to go to the shed, um, or even outside, we'll see, and um, we'll, we'll put on the gloves and the, um, the mask, and we'll get this process going and we'll come back then every so often and check and see how the process is, is going through. So, see you in the shed guys, and we'll um, take it to the next step, so don't forget, this is demonstration purpose only, I don't want anyone repeating this, just showing how I process the gold and what I do to get it. Um, so, if you do it, you do it at your own risk, and um, don't, don't, um, don't do something you don't know anything about, or don't even attempt to do anything until you've done your research and you are 100% sure that you know what you're doing as this stuff can uh, be very harmful to your health so we'll go to the next stage okay guys so uh, here we are ready to go so I haven't put my mask on yet because I haven't started mixing the chemicals I just have them ready I'm just putting on my gloves now um, and we'll be ready to go and I'm going to explain what I'm going to do in case when I put the mask on you can't hear what I'm saying so inside of here we have our bleach and inside of here, we have our um, nitric acid. So what I'll be adding is I'll be putting the nitric acid in here. There's 100 milliliters there. I'll probably put another 100 milliliters in as well. So we'll have about 200 milliliters of the um, HCL. And then I'll be using a um, 
little uh, dropper or pipette to drop in a couple of millimetres, maybe three millimetres of bleach at a time. It's just straightforward household be bleach. It's got um, no um, citruses or any of that sort of um, smells to it. It's just your regular bleach. It hasn't got any fragrances added to it or anything like that. It's just straightforward household bleach. Um, so that's all I'm going to be doing. So I'll, what I'll do uh, off camera guys is I'll put on my mask and I've already added the first 100 millilitres of it which is here and I'll have filled up another one to get ready and then I'll start dropping in the pipettes. I'll also try and talk and explain what's happening but with the mask on as you know it can be um, hard to see and we'll see if we get any reaction. If not we get rid we'll add a bit more and add a bit more and once we start getting a reaction we can let it leave for a while to do its work and then we can, um, at the moment it's good weather outside, so it's nice and hot outside, so we can leave it out in the sun and let the, let the sun heat it up and do its work, so um, that we can speed it up maybe a bit. So we compare it, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to pause it there now, but you won't notice it because, again, by the power of editing, you won't have to wait. You'll be able to see the first 100 millilitres will be in, and we'll be going from there. So let's get ready, guys. Okay guys, so the first 100 millilitres has been added, so I'm only going to add about 50 actually, I'll add about half this. So, something about there, no, a bit more, be 50. Okay, we're at 60, so a small touch more. Okay, so I've added 50 millilitres there. And what I have here is, there's 50 millilitres in this um bleach but we're only going to add a few drops at a time so hold on now we'll get the bleach going so we'll take up the bleach and we'll just add a few drops into the center and we get a little bit of a reaction straight away which is good Okay, we'll just leave that for a second and see what's happening. So you can see the reaction straight away in the middle. So that's died down a bit so we can add a small bit more. Because we don't want to create a boil over or anything like that. Okay, so that's about three millimeters gone in there. So we we'll let that settle down a bit. We we'll get the next three millimeters ready. Okay, so again, I'll slowly add this. So that's why you have to be wearing your mask. Or have it, have it under your fume hood, but my fume hood is very noisy, so you wouldn't hear a thing that I'm doing. So uh, once I've done, it'll go in under the fume hood when it's working away. But for this part, uh, so you can actually hear what I'm saying. I don't have it in the fume hood. I need to get a new motor for the fume hood because it is very, very noisy at the moment. Okay, so we'll get the next lot. So that's six millilitres gone in at the moment. And we're about to add it up to nine and then I'm going to leave that for a while. We'll let the nine do its work and then we'll see what else I need to add. I'll probably add a bit more off screen and stuff like that but you don't want to be sitting here just watching the same thing over and over and over okay so we'll leave that we'll get a look at the jar inside and we'll see can we see what's happening so you can see the reaction we'll try and focus in a bit for you I zoom in a small bit so there's a reaction taking place there now between the hydrochloric acid and the um, bleach which in its process will dissolve the gold so that will start to dissolve the gold and it'll start to put it into solution I may need to add more hydrochloric acid and add a bit more bleach and stuff like that but for the moment I'll let that work away do its stuff so that will work away and uh, continue I'll just zoom back out So we'll let that work away. I might just add three more millimetres, so we'll add three more. And we'll leave it to do its work. And I'll say I'll keep adding it after off screen. And if I when we come back in a while, we'll see how it has processed. I'll put it out in the heat 
and we'll see has there been much of a reaction to it so guys i'm going to turn you off there and when you come back we have seen hopefully a bit of process or progress should i say a bit of progress and a bit more dissolving of the gold and a bit more liquid maybe and the flakes reacting a bit more and stuff like that so guys that's where we we'll leave it we'll come back and we'll see how, how, we've, how we're getting on okay guys so um this is the uh 24 hours after I added the bleach and what I've here beside it is one I put nitric in so just to compare so I've done two batches I've done one with nitric and one with bleach so as you can see in the bleach one after 24 hours we still have a lot of foils and in the nitric one a lot less foils so you can see it has really dissolved a lot of them so that tells me straight away nitric is going to be a lot, lot quicker doing this job. So again, I have the mask on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a bit more bleach. So again, we're getting a big reaction. So that's the full 50 millimeters of bleach gone in there. I just have a bit of foils here I want to wash down into it. So we're going to let that work away. On it there for the moment and um, We'll have a look at it later and see how it has reacted. Has it, does it need more bleach? Do I need to decant off? And see uh, how, it's, how it's getting on. So, we'll try and focus in a bit. So you can see the reaction. A lot of foaming, a bit of heat, it is warming up. Um, so, foils are all in there, we'll just stir it around a bit so the bleach can maybe get a bit more down into it. I might even split it into two jars, um, so half is it done, just to so that more of the bleach can get to work on the um, the foils. Okay guys, I'll leave that back out in the sun and we'll let it um, do its work and we'll see how we get on with that. This one is almost done I'd say, there's very little foils left in there and that was only after 24 hours. So again, that has really worked well. The nitric does a good job. So we'll um, check back in and we'll see how we got on with that. You don't need to see that anymore because we know that has, you've already probably watched a video on how that works and that was just some i just wanted to put in to compare um i might add just a small bit more nitric to it just to clear out whatever's left okay guys so check in later okay so it's been about 36 hours since i put the uh bleach and uh, hydrochloric and the gold flakes into the solution and as you can see if i 
uh, take this off. So again, guys, I have the mask on, I have the gloves on. And if I stir it up, you'll be able to see there's still a lot of flakes in there. So what I'm probably going to do is, because I have no more room in this to add any more hydrochloric acid or to add any more bleach, I'm going to siphon this off into another jar, split it in two, so we we'll divide this, the solution into two, um, so that I can get more of bleach in to go and react with this, because I think it's saturated and it can't take any more. So I'm going to put that into it, uh, and again you can see the difference where I use the nitric on these ones. So again, I just stir it up and you'll see. So on here, and if I take out some of the solution, there's no no flakes left. Uh, there's bits of the board or stuff like that that may have got in, but actual gold flakes is completely dissolved. So the nitric is far, far more efficient. So again, we we'll just wash down the I don't want to be losing any any gold. So that's uh, about ready to probably filter, but you don't need to see me doing that because you'll have already seen that before on a filtration. So I'll put that aside, I'll label up the bottle and I'll filter that out uh, later. So what I'm essentially going to do off camera, because I need to be using both hands and I don't want to put the camera in the way, is I'm going to divide this down into two, divide out the flakes, stuff like that or whatever, and um, we're going to add some fresh HCL and add some more bleach and get working on it. So I'm just going to do that guys, we'll be back in a second and we'll uh, be ready to go. Okay, so I've divided into two. I've added some fresh HCL. There's not much flakes in here actually, so I'm probably going to just filter that out and get ready for denoxin and stuff like that of the chlorine from that, from the bleaches, um, which is a different process. And again, anyone, um, I don't use this process much, but just a few people uh, were mentioning about the different ways of doing it, so I said I'd give it a go. But the one thing it has taught me is the length of time is a lot longer than a nitric. So um, it won't be one I'll be using much, to be honest with you. So we'll just add a little bit more bleach in there. And let that start to work. And the flakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to siphon this off over here on the left hand side. Or filter it off. And I'm going to add some fresh HCL and add some more of these flakes over here and add more bleach. And I'll check back in in 36 hours and see how we got this. So I'm going to have a lot of solution because I probably put too much flakes in. Um, so I'm going to have a lot of solution to deal with. But it's just one of those things. Um, so we'll, we'll check back guys in 36 hours and see how we got on. See has it dissolved much more of the flakes. Or do we still have a lot of flakes and am I better off um, abandoning this and going to nitric or something like that? So guys, see you in 36 hours. Okay, so I have uh, left the uh, bleach and hydrochloric acid working on them foils. So we're going to have a good look. I've left them for a few days. Um, I've stirred them up every so often, added a small little bit of bleach every so often just to get it to work and I think we're nearly there uh, there is still a few small bits in there we're just almost there we'll be soon getting to the filtering stage so again I've just switched the fan off guys I'll be switching it on again in a minute but I have my mask on uh, again it's the proper mask with the proper filters for the chlorine gases and stuff like that whenever I'm working with these so just make sure you have your proper gear if anyone is doing this again do not copy what I do this is just what I do do myself. So what I'm just going to do is just going to add a small little bit more bleach to each one. Because just a, a little bit there and a little bit here. And we'll give it a good stir around. You're better adding small amounts and stirring it in because the chlorine will dis uh, the bleach will 
um, work better in if you put a smaller bit in, mix it around, leave it for a while, as the gases do disperse fairly quick from it. You're better as well in a cooler environment than heat, because at first I was putting it outside in the heat and it was slower to work, the gases burnt off quicker. So um, what I'm doing now is I just add a small bit, I stir it around and it seems to work a lot, lot better. And then we um, we just let it do its stuff and then we leave it for a while and then we come back and we'll add a bit more and we'll stir it around again and let the gases work again. But it seems to have fairly well got rid of most of the uh, gold foils are gone. There's a few little bits of debris floating around which will come out when I filter. So we're going to pause it there, I think, for this one. And the next time you'll see it, I'll be filtering. Well, it's been a few days since I was last checking this out. I've left it um, a few days to dissolve. I've added the bleach slowly uh, to dissolve the gold flakes and it seems to have done all that. Um, so there will be a few salts that have settled at the bottom. Um, and there will be um, a few salts floating around in it. So my plan is, uh, I've left it open in the air to drive off any of the um, remaining bleach, um, which is uh, the chlorine gases. So they should have all been driven off. Uh, so hence I haven't any mask on at the moment because I cannot smell any chlorines or anything like that. Um, while I'm doing this top, but when I start stirring it up, I will put the mask back on because um, I don't out here beside me somewhere but if I don't I'll get in a second before I start stirring this up so my plan now is I think it has neutralized but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to a bit of heat just to make sure that if there is any more a um, chlorine gas is still left it will drive it off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this over now into the heat I'm going to put my mask on and as you can see I have gloves on these are the uh, what you call gloves I've just the normal gloves on at the moment and I just have my little glass stirring rod um, so I'm going to add it to the heat, try and see if there's any more chlorine gas left to be driven off. I leave it 10-15 minutes on the heat to drive off any gases. And then we're going to do a filter and then we're going to do a little test and see if there's any gold in it. And then that will be it for this video and then we'll go on to the next video at some stage where we will drop the gold from these. Hopefully there is gold in it. We should have gold because there's no the flakes are there so they should be there. So um, let's transfer this to the heat and then we'll um, get the mask on and we'll see how the chlorine is and uh, if there's any chlorine coming off. Okay guys, so we have it on the heat and I'm just gonna stir it up a bit, uh, just to give it a stir up so you can see there is salts in there, um, which is one of the downsides of dealing with the bleach. Uh, the flakes seem to have disappeared. There is debris and stuff like that. In there as well so you can see the salts there on the um, actual um, stirrer so that's one of the downsides of the bleach and hydrochloric acid is the salts so I'll just wash that down as best I can on this one just wash more of it down to make sure it's all gone in Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that on the heat 10 or 15 minutes um, and we'll, we'll see um, afterwards. It's, I'll, give it a, I'll stir it every so often and just to try and release any chlorine gas that may be still there but I don't think there's any left. Then that should be ready to go and filter and then as I say at a later stage we'll do a drop on it. We'll do a test to make sure there is uh, gold in it. So guys, uh, I'll leave that on for 10 or 15 minutes and we'll come back and see how we've progressed. So I've had it on the heat now for possibly an hour. On and off, um, taking it off for a while, letting it settle down, putting it back on the heat again. So uh, the chlorine seems to have all dispersed. I'm not getting any smell of chlorine at all. Um, so, which is a good thing. I have my mask off now just to test it. I want to put it off the mask just to see if I smell any chlorine in the area. And there's no smell of chlorine at all. I'll put the mask back on anyhow just in case there's any other gases or anything like that. But um, I just said I'd check that. So, um, 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off the heat, I'm going to let it cool down, and then we're going to filter it. So, um, we're ready for the filtration stage now, and then we'll run a test on it after we filter it. The salts should settle down to the bottom again, um, pour it off, I'll hold on to the salts, I'll wash the salts off, and um, in case there's any gold to attach them, and um, I'll hold on to them salts for processing later again. Um, so, we'll go on to the next stage, I'll let this cool down, and we'll go and filter it, guys. Okay guys, so I've left the um, solution for a while to uh, let off any more uh, chlorine gases that may be still there. There's probably going to be still some chlorine gases, so I'm going to put the mask on because in a later video I'll just make sure it's all denoxed. What I'm trying to do here now is just filter it out and do a test to make sure that we have the gold um, content in there, that we get a good positive for gold. So I have um, the two jars there, I'll probably just do one first and I'll divide it into three smaller jars, or three more jars to give me a bit more um, easier to work with. So what I'm going to do there now is I'm just going to put the mask on. So again guys, safety first. Um, just to make sure you have your mask on. And then I'll get my gloves on. So you just put the mask on. Okay. And now we get the gloves on. And then we we'll start to pour off. So I'll just put one aside for the moment. So I'll put this to one side. And we have our three, I'll just tilt it up a bit. We have our three jars, one, two, and three over here. So all I'm gonna do is be pouring this off into the filter. So I'll take one to the front. And just give myself a bit more room. I could have organized this maybe a bit better, but we just move stuff around a bit, so I have my filter set up and we're just going to pour off some of this into it. So we just pour this off. Okay, so we let that one filter away. I'll get the second one out to the front as well. Again, all I'm going to do is pour some in here and let it filter away. There will be a certain amount of salts and stuff that will have dropped out into the solution, so hopefully the filter will hold on to them. So we'll let that work away. Um, I'll leave that aside and I'll wash it out in a minute with some distilled water to add to the solution and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put that again to one side and that one I'll swap and I'm going to take out this other one so I have three going at the same time and if I need I'll divide it again into a fourth one but for the moment we'll go with three so again I'll pour off the second solution Okay, so I'll add a bit to this back one. Okay, a little bit more here. A bit to this one. So you can see in here there is bits of mobile phones, or not mobile phones, bits of the board still. I don't think I can see any gold in there, any gold flakes, they seem to be all gone. So I'm just going to wash these out now with distilled water. So I'm just going to add them to spray some distilled water in here. And we'll rinse it through as well to make sure we get as much as we can out of it. one of the downsides of the bleach method that I find is the salts that are generated from from it. 
but on the good side it's, it's easier neutralised. Okay, so we'll rinse that around and pour it off into one of these, so I'll go into the back one. So we're letting that work away. So guys, I'll just rinse out both them jars into the solutions and we'll come back once it has fully gone through the uh, filters and we'll do a test on it and we'll see, uh, we'll do a stainless test and see how we fare for gold. See, do we get to make sure we get our uh, reaction that we're looking for for the gold? So, check back in a while. Well, instantly again for you guys. So, here we go. Let's see how we got on. Okay, so we have filtered off the solution, and I've got my three um, little um, solutions here. So, I'm going to test one in each one individually, and we're going to have a look and see when I dip these in and test them for precious metals and see what the reaction will be. So a little bit on it and again I'll just swap it actually to the other hand so you have it here in front of the camera and we're just going to just put a little bit of stannis on it so there we go we have a reaction you can see it has changed color it's gone the blacky color so blacky brown color so that's um that's positive for um precious metal in that one We'll test the next one here at the back. Again, I'm expecting maybe the same for each one. I'm not expecting anything different because it was a mixture of both solutions. Just divided into three different things, so I'm not expecting anything different. So again, there we go. Positive again for precious metals. You can see there how black it's gone. And we're just going to test the last one, which is over here. So again, I just put it into solution. So again, we have our positive reaction for the gold. So um, that's exactly what I expected to see. So that's tested with Stannis. If anyone um, doesn't know what Stannis is, I have a video up there on my page so, or on my channel. If anyone wants, just check it out if you want to see how Stannis is made and what's used for. Um, so guys, that's kind of it for this video. We'll do the drop on a different video. So I'm going to uh, say thanks for watching and um, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you want to see the drops and see how we get on with the gold from these, see what sort of return we get. Um, at the moment I have some gold drying out from a previous drops it will be from something else you'll be able to see the video maybe up on my channel by the time this comes i'm sure you would have seen the video so you can see it's drying out in there so we have the gold powder so i'll just give you a little sneak of that because you'll probably see the video of it anyhow so I'll put that back on to dry so i'm just drying that out and um that's from a previous video um i'm sure it's up there so have a look i think it's the one that shows the cpu gold uh, not cpu the the same as this but do, done with the nitric method this was done with the bleach so um that's that would be the gold that's drying out from that so we'll go and we'll uh, call it a day guys and thanks for watching the video and check out my few more of my videos if you don't mind and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and we'll see what sort of gold we end up with at the end out of this one um will it be as good or will it be better or worse than what i got from the um the uh, nitric version so guys thanks for watching and till the next one keep on looking for that gold